With Islamic extremists threatening to overrun Iraq, there's been increasing pressure on the United States and Iran to combine forces to help Baghdad. As the militants tighten their grip on several cities, one expert on Iranian and Middle East affairs told Euronews that the idea of a divided Iraq is not in their common interests. The division of Iraq will be discussed if it can be presented as a solution and not a problem. But right now I think Iran prefers a strong Iraq united with them rather than a divided Iraq. The majority of countries in the Middle East don't agree with the idea of a divided Iraq because a lot of these countries are multi-ethnic, multi-religious countries. Therefore, they don't want a divided Iraq which could infect them. For example, Iran is a multi-ethnic country. There are Kurds, the Arabs, the Baluch, the Turks, like Saudi Arabia with the Shia, Sunni and Ismaili. It's the same situation in Turkey and in Syria. Reports of so-called ethnic cleansing by Iraqi militants have given rise to fears of a long and bloody civil war and questions over whether people can actually unite to face off the extremists. That's unlikely, according to al Faq, who says a large number of Shia are against Maliki. We know that Ayatollah Sistani asked the Iraqi people to fight what he called terrorists, but two years on, he refused to meet Maliki. Amar al akim leader of the Islamic Supreme Council of Iraq, is against Maliki, as well as the most important here, Muqtada al-Sadr, the leader of the Mediami, the Shia group, and he is against al-Maliki. He said it wasn't Iraq which lost the war in Mosul, but Maliki's army. It shows that divisions are deep inside this country.